Matchup number two, we got Adam Burnett on your right, James on your left, and we'll be at the top of your screen in a moment. And this is an important race, Will, because Adam Burnett, the captain of Sen City, has told us that if James Sanella wins this race, James is on Team Sen City. Wow, that's big. And we are... There, there we go. We go. <laughs> they are see, pretty close on the boardwalk, but Adam Burnett using that veteran advantage of his as he is taking an early lead, but James hanging with him. Man, Adam was oh, able dude. to make that transfer to the ring one hand at a time. That takes guts to pull that off. And who's going to get to the rooftop rumble first? It is Adam. That gives him a little bit of advantage in case they both failed the flying fish right here. And look at this, a little bit of sportsmanship. Adam is going to let James chalk up before they both go on the flying fish. We only had one chalk section. And Adam is going to let uh, right, guys, James get go. ready. And they are both off in stereo. Wow. So all they have to do right here is navigate these poles that go in a zigzag position without letting go. And they're both through onto the girder. girder. And I'm wondering if they're going to, they are going to use that rest. So they are capable of going right for the Monstro climb. But they're both going to take a minute to rest, chalk up, get those lactic acids flowing again. Honestly, I think it's a good idea. These last two obstacles will amazing, destroy your arms and hands. And you need all the rest you can get. They're even, so the pressure to try to catch up your opponent isn't there. there and it looks like they're about to ready to take on the monstro climb. And you can see James using one less swing. That's going to give him a bit of an advantage. He goes 180. Ooh. Adam, a He's bit of a whiff there. Oh, my. James has pulled ahead. And he Another is going 180. to. Another 180. And now he's reversing, and he is onto the Heavenly Ascent first, but Adam hanging with him. Right, this is it. Yes. Now, it's important to note at this point, Adam has to finish first in order to win. If they both fall, it goes to James. That's but right, it because he like... got to this obstacle first, but you can see yeah. he is onto the vertical section. Yeah, he cannot have, have much left in his arms, but he's still going. Oh, this transfer can be so tricky if you don't have the strength and energy left. But he's James, just a few pulls on. away. He's making progress. One more pull. He's do it. Come on. Yes, and he's done it. it. James Sinella is, is wow. on Sin City, How's and he's on to the semifinals. And a fist bump from both players. <laughs> and a fall from Adam. Wow. And looks like James is going to take the dry route to victory. Both of Sorry. these guys were neck and neck until they got to Monstro Climb. And that, I think, was where the difference was made. Totally, totally agree with you. This, the lead just kept changing back and forth between these two, but it was James's speed on the Monstro Climb that I feel ultimately secured the victory for him in this race. And you can tell he used a couple less swings. Adam is a great cliffhanger competitor, but James one step ahead of him. Yeah, and you can see right here that... This heavenly ascent is, you know, it looks simple because it's a rope, but the further you go through the, the rope, the harder it gets because the more vertical you get in that climb. James Sinella with a great race down the stretch. He's moving on to the semifinals and a tough task ahead in Paul Woods.